Let us now do some unit conversions that will require multiple steps. Let us take a look at this question. We want to convert 10.0 kilometer to inches. And this is the relationship provided to us. 2.54 centimeter is equal to one inch. However, I'm trying to go from kilometers to inches. Well, it is expected that you would know how to convert kilometer to meters, then convert meters to centimeter, and then convert centimeters to inches. So that would require three steps. Let us do it one at a time. The quantity provided to us is 10.0 kilometer. We know how to go from kilometers to meters because we know that kilo literally means 10 to power 3. So we are going to multiply this given quantity by the conversion factor that says 1 kilometer literally means 10 to power 3 meters. And we are writing the conversion factor in this way because we want the kilometer to cancel out. So we have successfully converted kilometers to meters. Now let us convert meters to centimeter. To do that, we know the meaning of centi. So we are going to write the relationship like this. 10 to negative 2 meters literally means 1 centimeter because centi is 10 to negative 2. And if written like this, we know that meters would cancel out. So we have successfully converted to centimeter. And lastly, let us now convert to inches. We were already provided the relationship. The relationship is given that 2.54 centimeter is equal to one inch. And when it's written like this, we expect the centimeters to cancel out and we have successfully converted to inches. Now we need to enter the numbers into our calculator. If you enter these numbers into your calculator and you divide properly, you will get 3, 9, 3, 7, 0, 0, 0.7874 inches. But as you already know, that is not the correct final answer. We have to round appropriately. And at this point, you know that we do not base our rounding on conversion factors. So how do we round this? We are going to round to three significant figures which is the measurement given to us. Well, how do we round this answer to three significant figures? The best way to do this is to first write the number in scientific notation and then round it. So this will become one, two, three, four, five. This will become 
times 10 to the power 5 inches, which can now easily be rounded to three significant figures to give 3.94 times 10 to the power of 5 inches.